uh, adaptation we've um, added to the model in terms of applying a behavioral science lens and yeah. the specific model which we've added is the combi model and how does combi help uh, in playing a role in uh, understanding what's helping and hindering community well-being yes. uh, thanks michelle um i think i'll just go back to a point that Vili made around what are the aspirations and aspirations of community could be quite different uh, than those further up and um, getting by day to day speaks of surviving uh, so what does thriving you know what what what's the bridging the surviving to thriving um, what can behavioral science kind of shine a light on and I think um, there's this question we start with is well how do we make it easier to follow through with the things that matter to community that matter to the well-being of ourselves and each other um, a lot of time and I've seen this in my experience in workplace well-being things are rolled out with good intentions um, but without the compassion to attend to the little things that influence our decision making um, so it's all about looking at what are the enabling conditions <laughs> for thriving. Um, get rid of the blockers. Vishal, you talked about remove the, the obstacles for the elephant. Get rid of the blockers, but do more of what works. And um, what Combi uh, has kind of helped us here is, well, first of all, Combi, for those who have joined and sort of looking at that going, you know, what the heck is it? Um, the model stands for capability which is about knowing how to do something and having the skills um, mentally and physically to do it. The opportunity is about external things. So the role of the people and the things around us, what's in our environment um, and the social influences. And motivation is split into automatic. So things like emotions that drive decisions and also reflective, so like our goals, um, our identity, uh, optimism, a sense that things are gonna go well for us, uh, and self-efficacy. So the B stands for behavior. So I guess the point I wanna make is that it's recognizing behavior is part of this interacting system, um, not just one thing. Uh, so it helps explain why there's this sort of gap between knowing and doing or good intentions and um, not sort of following through. So this particular model was developed through 19 frameworks of behavior change um, through a systematic review in the literature. So it's pretty robust. Um, but you know what? It's also our job to be always be critical thinkers and questions like, where does power sit in the system that influences behavior? So we're constantly reflecting on what we know because no model is ever complete, right? Um, we always have to be asking, who do I need to be talking to to find out more? And um, if we want to co-create enabling conditions, you, we need to know what matters to people in the first place. So that leads to thriving. So with all of these dimensions in mind, not just um, one thing like mental well-being or physical it's it's all these dimensions so just the last point is that combi sort of gives this systematic way of kind of looking at things what's already happening in community um, like people looking out for each other and what's blocking um, like systems being hard to access and really kind of drilling down on at a specific moment in time, how does that influence a decision to go one way or another?